We were all abuzz yesterday about a stealthy side glimpse of a galaxy found in the first full-color James Webb Space Telescope images. But if you thought that was crazy, wait until you see this. Webb has also released some sneaky photographs of Jupiter, and they're breathtakingly lovely. The images aren't formal, full-resolution shots like the ones released yesterday, but they were included in a NASA commissioning document to demonstrate that its near-chem, or near-infrared camera, can follow moving targets. Two photos were captured, with just a 75-second exposure, and depict Europa, Thebe, and Metis, the gas giant's moons. The shadow of Europa may also be seen on the left of the Great Red Spot. Jupiter and its rings, as well as the three of its moons, Europa, Thebe, and Metis, are seen in greater detail. The shadow of Europa may also be seen in the picture on the left, right near the planet's notorious Great Red Spot. James Webb's near-infrared camera captured the picture on the left by employing a filter that emphasizes short wavelengths. The image on the right was captured using a filter that emphasizes long wavelengths of light. Webb's near-infrared camera captured the photos, which utilized two distinct filters to emphasize various wavelengths of light. James Webb was tested to ensure that it could follow fast-moving objects across the solar system. Webb photographed nine objects for this, and Jupiter was the slowest moving, but as you can see, one of the most beautiful. The test also showed that the JWST can capture characteristics like moons and rings around a planet as bright as Jupiter. This is all wonderful news, since it implies James Webb will be useful for tracking things like near-Earth objects and comets. Overall, the commissioning report suggests that the JWST is outperforming expectations. We're excited to see more photo drops in the coming weeks and months. So, if you want to learn more about the James Webb Space Telescope and stay up to date, subscribe to the channel to receive our daily updates. Thanks for watching.